Nasdaq 100 scale to fresh highs, all time highs, record highs again last week. We have seen in our weekly review that the flat top and a bullish closing suggests that it will continue with the bullish momentum. It precisely achieved the highs at 17,660 plus plus levels. Remember 17,660 I gave you in my weekly review that this is going to be a resistance. Precisely, it has reversed and closed at around 17,400. Now, what to expect from Tech 100 in the coming week? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Important week ahead when the interest rate decision from Fed and followed with the Chairman Powell's speech will definitely bring a lot much of volatility and that is going to be the last trading session for the month of January. So, what to expect, how we can profit and what is going to be our strategy? We will see with the help of charts and indicators towards the end of this update, I will be sharing trading levels watch till the end if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel to get the twice a day updates i share for nasdaq first with the asia session next with the europe session do press the bell icon for notifications and yes do like share and comment friends your every like comment share is a great motivation inspiration for me and if you have not joined the channel memberships be a part of the channel members now look at the movement in tech 100 three retracement candle three straight bullish candle yes bullishness getting diminished that is what we can observe here three candles preceding two candles with diminishing body size this body size is going to be further smaller and this is almost precisely on the way to that also if you look at the opening of the candle was at somewhere around 16800 it has achieved a high at 17660 levels and the low at 16200 it appears we are going to look forward to 300 to 400 points of body size which means the closer of the month can be at around 17100 to 17200 zone there is a possibility we will look further into the daily charts and further time frames to understand that first two trading session if it trades bullish certainly we can look forward to a drop with the fed a stochastic rising magd is divergent and bullish it is looking upwards i have shared several times on my monthly review that yes see the magd traded with a strong bearish momentum thus far and see now it is divergent and bullish it is looking upwards and it will continue to do so there are more highs to be achieved in the coming months there is a stronger possibility but the more it diverges the chances for conversion will also increase rsi rising coming to week on the weekly charts only one apprehension that the divergence of the price from the moving average now the 20 weeks average is, is at around 16000 levels and we are seeing a strong divergence of the price from the moving average which calls for it to converge next if you look at tech 100 is trading in this bullish channel where is the bottom of the channel as in how time passes by we can look forward to 16 700 16800 zone as the support levels on the downside we have to be careful at around these these levels and yes there is a probability that it can retrace to these levels yes we may see tech 100 moving towards those levels if you also look at the weekly charts you will find this could be a perfect reversal candle here towards the end this is coming at the uh, top of the bullish move also if you notice what has happened here this is the similar candle what has happened a sharp fall and we can again look forward to a sharp fall possibility is there that with fed markets might try to drop but uh, still uh, the closer could be at around 17100 200 that is for month and for the week we will still have two trading sessions for the from the next month so possibility is there that we can see it looking towards 16800 to 900 zone right now signaling a reversal but we have to be trading with caution only bearishness is below 16,000 uh, 17,000 17,100 levels is where you can see more bearishness if you see it trading below 16,800 chances for which appears to be less with the fed at least these three days i do not see it closing in red it might move towards 17,100 200 but not closing towards 16,800 900 and if you look at the stock i think this is rising this has come to overbought levels magd is divergent magd is bullish and it is looking upwards also if you no notice see the stronger rise retracement it is again looking forward to a double top levels and thus it has already seen the retracement after this drop a possible conversion means a red candle from current levels will definitely bring bearishness in the next few weeks for tech 100 you have to be very cautious in the coming week possibly this could bring the reversal rsi overbought coming to the daily now look at the daily charts on my daily review i have mentioned very clearly that this is one of the reversal candles since then we have seen lower highs and a pullback and then lower lows lower highs are seen for last two candles now interestingly we have to wait for it to break beyond 17300 levels for further bearishness possibly possibly 
for the first two to three trading sessions, we may see Tech 100 coming towards 17200 to 17000 zone. With the Fed, it can try to achieve these levels. Yes, the prices are trading with too much of divergence from the 20 period moving average. Now, if you notice what has happened here, it is retraced and since then a stronger rally is seen. And if you look at the movement rise, retracement, rise, retracement. Where are the support? 17200, 17100. This is the zone we should watch out for more closely in the coming week. In fact, let's include 17000 as well. As long as Tech 100 stays above 17000, chances for a good swing exist. Possibly this suggests that first two trading sessions, we can see bearish momentum continuing, taking it till towards 17200, 17000 levels. And with Fed possibility of a 200 points rise cannot be denied. Be watchful of that. But yes, this should confirm that any move below this zone 17,000 to 16,800 is a sign of reversal for the coming few weeks. Market might trend to try to trend bearish. A stock I stick looking down, MACD. Now see MACD on the daily charts is trading with divergence. It is starting to convert the possibility for it to cross over on the sell side exists strong. It is almost double top retracement and a crossover here can lead to bearish momentum. RSI overbought. Coming to 4 hours, likewise on the 4 hour chart, the drop, the retracement, lower highs and higher lows. We have to wait for it to break below 17,350 levels. In the coming week, when we see trading below 17,350 and 17,280, these two levels, certainly one can say now the prices might try to trend bearish where we can look forward to 17,140, 17,050 and 17,000 levels. Yes, it can try to drop a but. Stock stick looking downwards, MACD is trading with divergence and bearishness on the 4 hour charts. It is still is carrying a bearish momentum. But look at the moment first wave, second wave, it is still yielding higher lows, higher highs. So be watchful. A crossover here on the upside certainly can lead to further bullishness. RSI looking downwards, suggestive of bearishness. Now we have seen the charts, we have seen the indicators. Time for me to give you the trading levels and strategy for the coming week. And before I provide you the trading levels, if you want to learn this art of trading, you can join my 28th mentorship batch commencing on 29th of January. Register yourself now. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. You can be part of my signals channel on telegram as well. Again, reach out to me for more details. Also, do visit the platform forexonda.com or do join the free telegram channel to get the live updates. Yes, the platform forexonda has much more information. The economic calendar live data releases. The community of traders, everything is there and also you can be a part of the webinar series where we can take a discussion and where we discuss the futures of the markets in the coming week. Do register for it. That also comes with two free consultations with me, live one-to-one -one consultations. Do not miss this opportunity. Now, let's talk about first the levels to buy. Yes, if you see it is staying at 17,450, we can initiate a buying position here. Remember, 17,510. 520 is the first resistance level you should watch out for a stronger resistance exists here after that we can look forward to 17 580 and then 7 17 630 and 660 zone now this is the zone where we'll find the next resistance only and only if tech 100 is seen trading above this zone you can look forward to 17 800 levels and after that, sky is the limit. 18,000 levels cannot be denied. Chances of this appears to be less as far as the analysis goes. Chances for it to trade with a slight bearish bias exists more. We have to be careful with our positions on the upside, specifically with the Fed. Yes, be watchful of that. On the downside, where you can sell? A selling entry is only below 17,340. Where? First support is at 17,300, 280. If this zone is taken, then we can expect it to trade with stronger bearish momentum towards 17,200, 17,140 and 17,060. Be watchful of this zone. If this zone is taken at 17,280 to 300, certainly the bearish momentum is going to increase. And then... Uh, 17060 140 200 levels very very strong support levels below that certainly it would try to breach towards 16970 levels for once and after that if it breaches this we will look forward to 900 800 zone the next support see as and how it breaks one of these supports certainly you can expect the bearish momentum getting increased one after other level once it takes 
the support levels certainly it will try to move towards the next support in a speedier or faster way thus you need to trade with caution i still see a range bound or you can say movement where with slight bearishness can be seen at least with the fed and post that with the beginning of the new candles we can expect a slight retracement on the downside towards 16800 900 so take your positions accordingly like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship badge webinar series signals channel reach out to me for any of your queries have a great profitable trading day ahead do like share subscribe and comment friends do watch the price a day updates as well thank you